Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, whatever it is, wherever you are, it's Mecha GM, and we're back with more Baltic Advance 3062. We are, in fact, back under the new patch, new playthrough. We are under patch 17.0, save break patch, a lot of stuff went in. Um, let me get things started here. We'll go over the patch notes, and then I'll, I'll build my start, and we'll see what's going to happen here. Let me get this started here. All right. So let's start with the patch notes for a moment and then we'll we'll get to things here. All right. Uh, Oop, there we go. Oop. There we go. Oh, no, hang on. Ah, I'm huge. Never mind. Anywho, we're not going to go too much here, but we're just going to quickly look. So, like, a lot of stuff's changed. Drop, drop slots have changed. Uh, there's a Christmas event, but whatever. All right, so. Drop slots have changed. So, now we can have... Um, Last one is six mech and tank slots. Start with up to four, up to like two more. Six more mech tank slots. So you can have up to 12, now have up to 12 mechs or 12 vehicles. Either or, a mix of 12 of each. And then up to four, and then up to four slots of battle armor. So that's changed. Like you can have a lot more, you can have, you still only have up to eight mechs and up to eight vehicles. But now you can have up to 12 of each, so. Some bunch of new mechs. Um... I'm not going to go into the details on those right now. There's a new Deep Periphery faction, Nueva Castile. Uh, acid ammo now shares an effect and stack correctly properly. That's fun. The Unsfin got nerfed. Uh, it kind of needed it. Urban ambushes have been expanded. Apparently they can call in airstrikes now. Um, yep. Uh, some new game worlds have been added. Uh, Tortuga will now strike back in Sanctuary. There's the anti-personnel gauss have been added for the clans. Uh, the extended range and enhanced LRMs have been added. Some new animations for melee mechs, so that mechs armed with a melee weapon in their what is it? Their the way the way with the right hand melee weapon now use the hatchetman's uh, animation as opposed to the left-handed punch animation. Uh, mach machine gun arrays have been turned into an attachment that can stack as many machine guns as you want into them. Uh, they've rebalanced the ammo feeds for the one-shot weapons. APMs have rebalanced again. They've actually removed the cheese from dueling, which is probably about time. There have been some new factory worlds added. More community content added. They've changed things for submodders. And uh, that's about it. I mean, that's a lot of stuff. Like, I'm glossing over a lot of stuff. But I just want to go into some stuff there quickly. Anywho, let's cut things over to the game so we can build our character and dive into the game, shall we? <laughs> all right uh we're gonna i'm actually gonna leave argo upgrade costs normal this time just as uh, for a change of pace basically we are doing a pirate start as i stated hopefully we get some decent stuff out of this uh mech recovery is 70 percent. i like that about there salvage that, okay, we're leaving those things on default leaving that on default uh, leaving that on default. Piles per system. We're going to kick that up so there's more variety available. I think that's going to be, that'll be, that, I think that'll be a bit nicer. Uh, da, 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 not changing those, not changing that. Run preferences. We're going to pump that up a little bit so we see more, some more of the interesting guys as opposed to the, the, the Ronin, the boring, the, uh, the vanilla RNG guys. Starting money will leave alone. Mech Bay C bills. Scrap values. We're going to drop to 5% the way I usually do. And yeah, that's all we're gonna do. Um, I'm actually a little tempted to add a little extra cash. Um, nah, we'll leave it as is. Of 
question is, do we change... I'm actually a little tempted to turn off friendly fire. I've gotten kind of annoyed with it. It's like, I if enemies only feels a little, yeah. But I don't want to turn it on for all or anything like that. And like, it's just so, so my problem with it is it, it like the ray tracing that determines it can be very erratic. And like, it's not just like, oh, I'm in my line of fire. Like shots can miss wide and do bad things. So I'm kind of tempted to turn. I Turning off friendly fire. I think it's. I, I think we'll we'll try it without friendly fire this time. Which means enemies won't like. We can't like miss enemies and hit 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 their, hit their. We can't take advantage of it ourselves. So. All right, let's go. All right, now it's gonna load for a bit. So, um, I'm going to have to save it in some jump jets, most likely. Um, we'll see. We might not have to. That'd be great. Because I'm going to try to keep everything jump capable again if I can. Because that feels in theme for a, you know, totally legit, not only not pirates, nope, we're not actually pirates, pirate, for, pirate rating force. Yeah, so we start on Astrakazi, which is a both a game world and a two skull pirate planet, which means we should be able to get pirate missions of two skulls or so, which will be a little tricky early, but we, sh I, we I may have to dive in and just try them. We'll see. Hopefully, we'll get some decent mechs. Fingers crossed. Because uh, we're going to need some luck. <laughs> loading, loading, loading. Sorry, it takes a little bit, but... The building the start, it takes a little bit of time. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, it's taking a little bit longer than I thought it would. <sighs> so, the question is, I'm about to say where my water was, but um, we got to figure out how we want to start the thing. And what will we get? Because the Pirate Star has some fun stuff in the Pirate List and some genuine turkeys. So I'm hoping we don't get any of the, turkey, the, the, the full turkeys. Like, I'm hoping, I'm hoping for not the Banshee. Like, long term, it's not a terrible pickup. Short term, it's kind of ass. All right, I'm gonna be, we're gonna go deep periphery, off-world smuggler, and we're taking the up engine dropship because that feels, this all feels right as a pirate. All right, uh, I I was noodling on portrait and combos and such. And I, I found a portrait I like and a nickname I like. I just gotta find a good name. For, I gotta find a, we'll find, find a good name. Um. We're going to make a male pilot this time. Good to go. All right. And I 
I found one I like. Where, where is he? All right. We're going to go for the sort of ironic nickname. There he is. His call sign is going to be tiny. Uh, Ronan's not bad. Was not bad. Let's see if we can find something I like better. Martem, nah. Finley, Finley's not bad. Darius? Nah. Girogi? Nah. Baron? Julen? Terence? Hector? Hector's not bad. Derek? Wilhelm? Nah. Sinar? Ryoto? Nah. Cyrus? Eric? Raul, nah. Bruno, Bruno's a good name. I like Bruno. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Nah, I'm not going to go with that. I just thought it was better. Uh... All right. Okay, I've, I've, I'm looking at names of pirates. I got, I got one. Andrew Barton. Oh, hang on, let's back that. I spelled Andrew wrong. All right, and his call sign is tiny because he's a big dude. All right, let's go. Mr. Barton. All right, reputation. We're going to customize company. I already know the name of the company since I came up with Barton. I spell it correctly. Yes, I did. It's two C's. I remember that correctly. Excellent. Let's find a good call sign. Good, good uh, logo. Like that wouldn't be bad. It's got a. It's it's a, it's at least something resembling a. The Kraken's not terrible. We're looking for something that's either a so that's vaguely Jolly Rogery or nautical themed to a certain degree. Um, because we're totally not pirates. Ooh, I kind of like that. I like that actually. Actually, hang on, we gotta. Don't. All right, we gotta change our colors up here, also. All right. Um. So I think our primary and secondary are gonna be red and white, or maybe like gray and red. I think gray and red. I'm gonna go with the metallic red. 
I want to go with red, red. Uh, let's go with that. Is there a metallic blue is the question. There it is. Great. For the highlights. Beautiful. And I think we'll go with white, actually. I think that. All right. To match up with our... Uh, Mech Bay, let's we're gonna get our box here. Wanna get the bonus rewards? Hopefully something useful. Okay, the drone airdrop beacon I'm not happy about. LRM 10's not bad to have. And this is all the fixed stuff. Alright. Basically, there are two things that are kind of random. We got the Wolverine at 6R, which is not great. Not as static about our gets, but we can work with them. The R90 Irby is not the worst Irby, honestly. Like, it's at least semi-functional. We'll need a bigger engine for it, I think, if we can get it up a little bit faster. The Locust 1E is not the worst Locust. Like, this is not abjectly terrible, it's just not good. The 8Z Panther, are you... Yeah, you're the crap one with the old prototype peep, large laser. Like, that's not the worst thing ever. Alright, um... I can work with this. Like, worst case, we can, like, just do that. Like, that helps a lot. The prototype large laser is terrible. Minus one accuracy hurts. Like, this is a huge accuracy swing. I'm just gonna do that right now. Like, uh, do I wanna do anything else? That S SRM ammo is at least... Okay, do we... How over... How much overcooling do we have? A lot. Okay. Like, we can... Let's see what we get in the heavy metal crate before we do anything. Alright. We'll do that change later. We gotta see what's in the heavy metal crate before we do anything. And the AA Vindicator, that's the Avenging Angel one. It's at least a little bit faster. That's not the worst thing ever. So like, okay, it's got a bigger engine in it. It's not the best. Also not terrible. The Vindicator is fine. It's under armored is its problem. All right, we'll figure out what to do with this in a minute. All right, let's see what we got our heavy heavy metal crate. Oh, while we're doing that, hang on. Engineering. I didn't mean to go to the map, but whatever. We're starting to hear Astrakazi. We'll drop a small amount of money to get the power systems up and running. It'll take a bit, but we'll get it done. I will accept the live fire extras uh, uh, invitation. We might do that on stream. I don't know. We'll see. On recording. We'll see. Uh, a bunch of MMLs and a Chimera. We got the Chimera. That's a big get. All right. Two ML fives, two ML threes, and a lac two. That could be worse. Like legitimately, the MML f this legit good. I'm actually very happy about this. All right. That mech you wanted is back online. And the Chimera is a great get. Like legitimately. Like that's our best mech right now. All right. Um. Five hundred ten thousand, so we can't really afford much of anything. Uh, there's a heavy cannon in the store. Light cannon, that's nice. I might grab that. Some light rifles, those are not terrible. Medium rifles, not bad. There's some okay stuff in this store for early game stuff. Excel engine we can't afford, target computer we can't afford, we can't afford the duels yet, but we can make, we can get there if we need to. 
Laser zoom array. Rifle revolver, not bad. We can work with this. Is there medium rifle ammo? That's the question. No, there's light rifle ammo, which is okay. Okay, there's some okay stuff here. I would love to be able to, like, I would love to be able to knock out these light, light mech duels, the duels here, because those are good money. That's a heavy mech duel, that's too bad. I don't think our light mechs are really well suited to dueling at the moment, although I can probably make them not terrible at it. All right. Okay, Wolverine 6R is all kinds of mediocre, if I remember correctly. Yeah. AC5, SRM6, and a medium laser. How can I make this not suck ass? That's the question. Like, this Wolverine is not the best. LRM 10. Alright, so this Chimera is definitively our best mech. Like, like, not even close. It is not an argument. This thing is by and far our best mech at the moment. Like, legitimately, we dropped the machine gun for armor. That's probably excessive MRM ammo, honestly. That, it, that is actually excessive MRM ammo. that for another, like, we can have, like, two tons of ammo, armor here, which we can very much use. Like, that's just, like, a significant improvement on its armor, like, by a noticeable margin. I feel much better about this thing. Done. Like, that will actually be a lot more functional. Alright, the Panther. I'd love it to be faster than it is, but we can't really do that, and that's fine. Take a look at the missions that are available here also while we're at looking at it. We got the live fire exercises, which will probably worth which is probably worth doing. A duo duel, which caps at 70 tons. That's two and a half skulls. That's probably not doable. Yeah, this is all a lot spicier than I really want to do. So we're definitely going to do live fire exercise to get ourselves some cash, I think. I don't really want to do that on recording, though. Take a look at our pilots also over here. And we got a mid who's not... Who's, we got a sensor locker, that's great. He's not a good shot, but, like, that's okay-ish? That's, that's workable? 
It's all right. Flatline is thoroughly okay. Selkie's not very good. Slapdash not great. Wait, why am I in a cockpit? And we is can't use smart? you yet because you are ones across the frickin' board. Okay, yeah, that's great. Okay. At least we have the commander. We'll have at least someone who's competent, at least. Him and Flatliner are two most competent pilots. Did we get battle armor and a tank or anything like that? I forget. Oh, we got a hunter. That's not bad. That's actually not a bad little tank. All right, that's a big help. And no battle armor. Okay. How do we pull this off? How do we get going here? Like... Oh, I wish there was medium rifle ammo available. That would have been huge. I guess we could go light rifles. I'm thinking about for the Wolverine here. Um, double light rifles, maybe? And some... Shots per ton is light rifle ammo. 18 shots. All right. We're going to buy them. I don't know if I'm going to use them yet. New weapon systems available. Depending on what I buy the revolver ammo, I don't know. The all right, light, light, light rifle ammo is cheap, at least. That's something. New equipment available. Buy the two half tons of that. All right. Um, do I buy the rifle revolvers? I don't think I do. It's actually a little tempting to buy the revolvers. Yeah, I'm buying them. I have a thought for the Wolverine that might make it workable. Alright. We are low on money, but I gotta make this thing work here. Yeah, so we're on the same amount of tonnage now, but we, yeah, that's a problem. All right, we're not going to put the revolvers on yet. We'll just run the two light rifles. One and a half tons of ammo. So we're actually doing slightly more damage here total. At less good range, but like, that's fine. All right, I'm gonna 
throw like an SRM4 on here, I guess? No, we can't, okay. SRM4 is two tons, all right, that's fine. Um, How overcooled are we? Bunch. Actually, we can actually run the the, the revolvers. And we'll add a little bit of armor, I guess. Yeah, I think that's the plan. All right. That'll do for now. Like, again, this is not, we're not going for optimal. We're going for, like, functional. Right. I'll get it this time. Like, that will actually be, like, a usable mech now. Alright. Panther, we need to ditch the... We just, we're not going to do much to you right now. Drop the large laser prototype for... A large laser... I'd love to do more stuff to you, but, like, this is, like, legitimately sort of the extent of what I can really do at the moment. Actually, you know what I can do? Pull that. Put an ML5 in there. It's more actual total. It's a little bit more total damage, and it's got more. Ra it's got some range options now. Like again, not optimal, but like we're just gonna go with what we can do quickly. Are we? We're overcooled by a bit. We can drop some heat sinks for armor, which this needs. Yeah, this thing is in dire need of armor. It trips way too much armor to be. Sink here, and we're still overcooled. We're still a little overcooled. I'd rather be more overcooled, but that's f this is fine. Um, how much the F um, we'll have away? Two tons. I can't really do much more of that right now. Again, we don't have the tech to do what I want to do. That's fine. Literally, that was actually a zero-day refit. That's great. Okay. That's actually a big help. <sighs> Alright, those two we really can't afford to do much with. Alright. I'm aware. This is a really risky start, but like it's kind of what we have to do. Shut up, Darius. Hey boss, we've just completed those upgrades. Oh. 
Okay, great. All right, we are near broke. So this is the gamble we're doing here. I would love to do live fire exercises, right? I don't want, do I want to do this on stream? Yeah, we're doing it on stream. It's two skulls worth of experience. So this is going to be our first thing here. Okay, we need, we need the experience, so. Um, I like that, that Irby's not terrible, but I would rather bring the Hunter. I did not spend the experience in the Commander, shoot, hang on. What skills do we have lying around? We have one sensor locker at the moment. That's better than nothing, honestly. Alright, um... Do I grab sensor lock here, or do we grab? Yeah, I think we. I think we're gonna grab. I think we're gonna target prediction here. All right. And flatlines are only only vehicle pilot. Do we? I can't afford to buy a higher pilot pilot at the moment. All right. Maybe we won't bring the vehicle. Maybe we'll just bring the we'll bring the RB. Alright. Yeah, we're gonna bring the RB. The vehicle I'd like to bring, but I'd like to have an actual like vehicle pilot for it. I don't I don't wanna waste someone as good as Flatline on on a on a on a hunter. Alright. Um That line, you get the Chimera. That's probably the best bet there. Slapdash, you get the Vindicator. Behemoth, you get the Panther. Amid, you get the Locust. And Selkie gets the Urbimac. Okay, we're doing... It's, it's life or exercise. This shouldn't be too bad. All right. This is going to be, uh, going to be spicy. This start is going to be tricky. Like, in theory, we need to get off the planet, but we just don't have the money. I think the smarter start would have been to go with, um, instead of the up engine, like, in terms of where we're starting, you could argue that we probably should have started with the, uh, the... The inheritance one, the one that starts you three million C bills. Like having that extra cash is early on is just sometimes very, very nice. But I love the up engine dropship. Hmm. Let's go. Alright. I would love to have done a bit more. You're gonna... 
Not everything here has jump jets yet. We will change that eventually. That's why I'm probably not going to keep the locust for very long because it doesn't have jump jets. So I'm not going to. I I'm not starting with the jump jets thing. I'm I'm debating whether I want to save it at the minute or not. The mid's stuck on terrain. A mid is stuck on terrain. That's unfortunate. All right, it happens. All right. I'd like to be able to sensor lock that urban mech, but you know, it is what it is. our best shot. Got some damage and I'll take it. Take what I can get every time. Oh, the Chimera is a good mech. I'm so happy to roll the Chimera. That's a big help. shots, but we'll take what we can get. Yeah, we'll take whatever damage we can get in. Like, that's, like, the thing. We're going to go in normal mode for the auto, for the auto cancel for the turn, because... I'll see what our odds of hitting are, then I'll, then I'll decide. Uh, are we, you know, not worth the jam chance. Let's go. Your job here is to sensor lock right now. Your job is not to shoot things. Your job is to lock enemy, remove invasion from enemies and sensor lock, pretty much. I've got a sensor lock. All right. Go, Irby, go. Firing. Another hit. We're getting, we're getting damage in it all, which is what matters. Okay, let's reserve down to one just to make things easy. Great odds. I'm actually going to double tap here, I think. I didn't do as well as I was hoping. All right. Uh, flat line. Go kick the Irby's, get a little bit extra damage in. So 
Switch over to SRMs. That's why I did that. Early game is tricky, and we don't have the best of stuff. Like this is taking an egregious amount of time used to because we don't have the, we don't have much in the way of firepower, like legitimately. That's a side shot. I'm willing to go up the side shot there. It's just not the not the uh, not a back shot if I can avoid it. Right, he's panicked, which is something. Okay, distract them a bit, that's something. God, I want this stupid Irby dead. Back shots. Ooh, I'm closer than I thought I was. I did hear the PVC though, so that's okay. Oh, would you please just die? And we gotta get you, and then we can do the ambush. Oh, do the escort. Yeah, this is. Alright, you've got no guns left. That's wonderful. All right. Um. laser out for the turn just so we I'm just gonna fire the MRMs actually. Let's get a tiny bit of damage on. Out of line of sight, that's lovely, actually. Alright, this is actually good. This is very good. Amid, you central lock the jerk? Can you get line of sight to him? Probably not. Alright, I'm gonna move you this way. I'm not ecstatic about the Ruby at the moment, but. Okay, 
guess there's more accurate here. Could have jumped there, but I think the I think the sprint's actually a better move. Still in range of the PPC. That's unfortunate. I did not think that was minimum range for the PPC. Oh dear. Poke in the back and spook him a bit. All right, I'm gonna reserve down to one here. That's the best position there. Not great shooting there, but... Okay, we're actually in decent range of the PPC for once, so we actually might be able to get a hit with it, which is great. Didn't. That's unfortunate. Commander. Can I get behind him? I can. Can I? Can I get a back shot? It's a question. I can. Excellent. All right. Great. Beautiful. Seriously, this Chimera is the definitely the best mech we have. Like, not even close. I mean, it starts with an XL engine, and it's got it's got a bunch of heats, a bunch of like high tech stuff, which is great. So, nothing we have is great, but like we're we're functional. actually like all right let's go shoot him in the back again I should precise strike this should get the odds up to near max and all right good we got him that's actually a kill for Ahmed. That's actually really good. That that's actually gonna be really good for him. Good to go. The 
Let's walk forward and brace so you can get your stability back. Now we cool off. Alright, so this Wolverine build's not the best, but it'll be better when we get more gunnery in there. And it'll, it'll be functional. So yeah, Ahmed's gonna be... We needed that central locker badly, basically. Okay. Okay, we're gonna yeah, we'll trigger the end, but we'll tr we'll trigger the convoy now. That's fine. I think the convoy is going this way, but I'm not positive. It might be going back this way. I'm 90 percent sure I remember which way this map works. I was correct. Excellent. Okay. couple of vehicles up there. We're going to reserve into one. Kind of thought that'd be the case. Let's see if the convoy has sensor lock. That's actually a good thing to check. They do. That's actually fantastic. All right. Oh, God. This is a better armed convoy than they usually are. All right. Um. I can get line of sight to that. All right. We are not wasting your sensor lock. On Ahmed's going to go first, honestly. I mean, I don't know how accurate the gun on that thing is, but that's an AC-20 I can take a shot with, so... Alright. We'll see if we can get lucky with the tank. Alright, Predator Tank Destroyer, you... Yes, do you have any... You have no alternate ammo. Okay, that's great. the Hetzer model. That's interesting. Not bad odds, actually. We'll take that. And a direct hit. I'll take it. Ah, to the turret. That's unfortunate.
I'm just gonna do what damage we can do to this and see what we can get if we can get this off the board without. Let's see what damage we can get in here. I'll take I'll take what I can get. I think this tank is gonna... Flutter's gonna central lock the other tank. Alright, excellent. Let's see if we can get you off the board, maybe. That'd be great. Great. Off the board. That's wonderful. Fantastic. We get to get what damage we can get on we can get on things like you now. That's like important. Place the L the LRM five with the MML three, but I'm not sure I want to on that. and kick the tank. It's slower than my entire unit, so... Get whatever shot we can get. Uh, not terrible, honestly. Let's get up to... Good accuracy. We need to get a bigger engine in this Kirby. Like, it needs a 150 core or so, probably. So we don't have a lot of speed here, but... Excellent. Good, 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 good. All right. That's really good. All right. All right, we're going to have to catch up the convoy here. We're near the combo. We should be fine. Yep. All right, that could have been much worse. We're gonna we're gonna stop the combo. The combo's not gonna move this turn. Is a big thing.
Herb Mech's the real issue I have in terms of its maneuvering. I'll take a look at something here, actually. All right. Where's Irby? Silky. Oh my god, you are so far behind. We're gonna wait. For, we're gonna wait for the urban mech to catch up. I want that to be in contact with my unit, if at all possible. Uh, that urban mech is really slow. Okay, where, where can Silky get to? All right. Yeah, we're waiting for that urban mech to catch up. Like, it needs to be like it needs to be there, basically. We can move. We now we can move at the speed of the urban mech, basically. I right, can the Slepnir. So we're gonna make it into the zone. All right, great. Let's see where we got the enemy coming in from. Down there, that's fantastic, actually. Good work, Commander. Hold this position until the All right, let's get the up. Let's get the convoy in. That's not too bad, honestly. We got the convoy to the zone. I mean, it's, this is, you know, the tutorial mission for BTA. So it's not too bad, but like... Oof. That two skull is going to be a little daunting, I think. Like we got we got some two skull missions here that are gonna be a little tricky, I think, but I honestly don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull them off or not. Alright. No line of sight, alright. You got can fire indirectly. Can you see anybody? No. Can you see anybody? No. Alright. Excellent. Central lock. The convoy can do some central locking. That's lovely. Alright. Alright. Flatline. Can you. You can go kick the tank here. That's actually not a bad shell. Let's go do that. Alright, 
how open are you? Starting to take damage there. All right, tiny. And we're going to target prediction here so we get as much and as many decent shots in as we can. Like, he needs more gunnery badly for a number of reasons. That might be a little too close, actually. Nope, that's fine. Beautiful, we took that out. Like, better mix, not the worst thing ever, it's just not great. Kick the Zerbi and shoot it in the back because we can. And start building up its panic. Alright, how's Zerbi looking? Badly damaged back there, that's great. We are, just don't have a lot of firepower right now is the problem. And it, that's early game. That's that's where it is. So we're not really set up to do two skull missions, but... You. What I'm debating right now is whether I think I've got the... Better odds than average. Really prefer to not have an LRM5 on that thing. LRM is a little tricky to use early game is the problem. Like, they, they just legitimately are a little tricky early. Eh, not the worst. Alright, we got the we got the convoy out, which is great. Let's just kick him again and shoot him in the back, I guess. Okay, he's stressed. Let's see if Sulk can get some damage in, I guess. Aye, aye. Ooh, nice shooting text. Well, not literally text, but you know. I'll put her in the back angle and shoot her in the back.
I really want to replace that. Like, she's just not set up for LRMs right now, and, like, LRM5 doesn't add a whole lot to this thing, so... Oh, never mind, it's dead. Great. And we're done. So, yeah. That's 300,000 seed builds. That gets us out of bankruptcy. We really can't, like, do much else right now. So we're going to have to do one of the missions on planet, because I don't think we have enough money to travel realistically. I'll take a look. $319,000, i will take it. <laughs> Gets us back up to 400000 We can't afford a Game World Duel, unfortunately. It's arguable we should have started with the extra cash, honestly. That would have been a big help, but... I'll take what I can get. Okay. Well, so we have four hundred twenty-seven thousand. It means we can actually we got we can travel if we need to. So the question is whether I think I can do any of these missions. And the answer is I can. It's just they'll be hard. Stubborn surrender is actually pretty doable. What is, who's it up against? That's the question. Marians, dicey. Uh, Planetary government, that's fine. Like, that's actually like a lot of money if we can pull that off. It's a duo duel. I'm not gonna be able to do it. I'm not gonna do it right now, but like, I'm, th I'm thinking. I, I am thinking. Show the flag is not something I want to do. Three skulls, like, definitely out of our realm. Like, two and a half is like really debatable whether we can do it or not. I don't know if we can pull that off. Well, let's spend our experience if we, if we can. Like, yeah, Ahmed can definitely spend his experience. That's, we're definitely grabbing... Yes. Like, as much as I want that... No. As much as I want the gunnery, sure movement is really good for him, so... Behemoth, you were driving what... Panther. Okay, that extra point of gunner is going to be actually a little bit helpful here. Uh, like, extra resolve, Jen's good, so we'll take it. Uh, Selkie. I want to replace that herb mech at some point. I just don't know with what. Training complete. Ready for orders. All right, Tiny, grab that point of gunnery. You're going to need it. Oh man! I so didn't do anything. This might you couldn't do anything. This fight because you couldn't do anything. This fight. Um. So next time we'll probably do... Oh, God, the destroyed base is going to be really hard with our... What we got. We don't. I don't know if we got enough to do that. I might do yearly tussle. I might gamble on that. That's a big freaking gamble, but... Like, I think next time I'm going to gamble on yearly tussle and stubborn surrender. Like, at least the op 4 is going to be damaged in stubborn surrender. Wow, this is a spicy start. <laughs> okay, let me look at... Oops, sorry about that. All right. 
Uh, let's see what we got. Can I get the? Let me get. Let me see if we get a more interesting looking paint scheme on these guys here. I like a little more red. That's fine. The Chimera doesn't take paint. Kirby looks fine. Looks, looks fine -ish. Okay. I mean, yeah, we're not gonna have like the ideal like color combos of some of these. Like this actually looks pretty good though. Okay, this is gonna be dicey. Spicy start. This should be interesting. <laughs> but thank you all for watching today. I hope you guys had fun. I had a blast as I always do. This is a brand new run. Always interesting start. Always interesting to start things off. Especially starting off on a two skull planet. That's tough. That could be really tough. Anywho, thank you all for watching, as I said. Uh, reminder, I do stream on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash MechaGym. Come check me out there. Uh, I stream Battletech on Mondays and Thursdays most weeks. Starting at 2.30 p.m. Eastern, going to about 7 p.m. Eastern. I stream other games on Tuesdays and Fridays. And Sundays are my flex day. Um, yeah. Um... God, I don't know what else to say other than uh, I'm looking forward to the new run. I'm looking forward to seeing some new stuff. There's a bunch of brand new mechs that have been added to the uh, to, this, to the black market for pirates only that are going to be fun to look at. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing those, trying them out. But until I see you next, be happy, be safe, keep on gaming, folks, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye bye. <laughs>